Resilience workers are America's white blood cells in an age of climate disasters. We're living at a time when hurricanes, floods, and fires are becoming more frequent and more destructive because of climate change. And each time that happens, thousands of families have to leave their homes, and those homes have to be repaired. The people who repair them are resilience workers. They're the ones helping heal a place so that it can recover. They rebuild schools and homes and hospitals and whole cities. These workers used to be thought of as unskilled workers. They used to be thought of as just day laborers. They are, in fact, increasingly a professionalized workforce. A lot of these workers are immigrants. Many are undocumented. And in order for them to have their full dignity, we need to take care of them, not just as migrants on the job, but as immigrants who need to be reunited with their families, need to be given dignity on their journeys, a safe place to live and refuge from threats. Resilience Force is a national organization that is protecting the mistreated workforce that is repairing and rebuilding America in the wake of climate disasters. The workers we have now aren't enough, and our vision is to have a million strong resilience workforce in America. We've piloted this vision in three places, in Louisiana, California, and Florida. We need people to have their full labor rights on the job. This whole resilience economy can be unlocked to build an entirely new pathway to the middle class. But that's not inevitable. We have to step in and make it a good economy for workers. We're not just building homes and communities. We're building new bonds, often between immigrants and the residents who once saw immigrants as the enemy. That can be the basis of a new civic fabric that America really needs right now.